Turning now to the latest on the war between Israel and Hamas, Israeli troops and tanks have been amassing at the border with Gaza, poised to potentially move into the Palestinian territory. 360,000 troops are ready for a ground war. Americans are racing to get out of Israel meantime. The State Department is chartering flights today and tomorrow. The death toll is expected to continue to rise. More than 4,000 people have been killed, including 30 Americans. Action reporter Trish Hartman live at Independence Mall tonight, where a large rally is going on there. Trish. Oh, Rick, this rally is being held by the Jewish Federation of Philadelphia. We'll give you a look at the rally happening right now behind me. It's happening along with dozens of other partner organizations and congregation. The march started at City Hall earlier today and ended here near Independence Mall in support of Israel. Now, as the conflict continues, people here at home are trying to reach loved ones and still processing the violence. She is I said the core of the family, obviously in English, like the, the rock of the family. 84-year-old Ditsa Heyman is believed to be kidnapped from her home in Israel. We spoke with her stepson, who lives in Ardmore. He says Ditsa appeared in a Hamas propaganda video days after the attacks began. Try no, not to imagine what she's going through, which is probably awful, you know, in, in, in her age, you know, be captured by, you know, terrorists and I don't know. We don't know how she treated her. Tony and Rosemary Trippershan are back home safe in Ventnor now, but they were on vacation in Tel Aviv on Saturday when the attacks began. Around 8, 830, you heard this loud explosion outside, startled you. I mean, it was just boom. And my wife jumps up. She runs across the uh, out of the room into the shelter area in the stairwell. Shortly after, Tony and Rosemary began a hectic trip home. We passed where the, the rocket strike hit. Right. And that's when we realized it was two to three blocks from our hotel. As northern Gaza is under evacuation orders by Israeli defense forces, hundreds of thousands of Palestinians are crowding into shelters with few supplies. The Gazans don't have water rights. They've turned, Israel has turned off the water. In Northern Liberties, a photography exhibit at In Liquid Gallery gives a then and now look at Palestinians in the West Bank. The photographer, Aisha Marshani's goal is to humanize Palestinians. People are scared. I'm also receiving messages from friends uh, about their loved ones in Gaza uh, who are writing messages saying goodbye, saying we are 25 people huddled in their house. They're, most of us are children. We don't know if we're getting out of here. Now this rally in support of Israel is still going on right now. Hundreds of folks are out here tonight. We've seen people from local synagogues as well as Jewish college organizations as well as churches all calling for peace and calling for an end to Hamas. We're live along Independence Mall, Trish Hardman, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah.